towards me, to me past no, that. The angle needs to be more acute. More acute. Well, let's see if it works. And open. Good God! <laughs> Brad! What a horrible shot! Thought I'd surprise you. Welcome to Down House. When is the most to be done? <laughs> when the drawbridge is in place. Were you trying to keep out, Charlie? <laughs> Everyone, especially you. Braz, what a wonderful surprise. My dear, what a journey. <laughs> it's not far. And nature abhors a journey of 16 miles, almost as much as a vacuum. <laughs> Hello, Annie. Man needs tea. One, and a two, and a three, and off you go. I've thought of a new name for the village. Oh, yes. Down in the mouth. <laughs> if you speak, I can find you really easily. Shh. How's your work progressing? Oh, I sent the manuscript off to be copied. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it when it comes back. Everyone, be quiet. Are we glad we're not blind? If you're blind, you can't see the sky or, or the sky. flowers. Or anything else, for that matter. <laughs> I can get any or any time I want. Well, go on, then. Yes, we feel sorry for moles, don't we? Moles don't need to be able to see because they live underground. That's why their eyes have got smaller and smaller yeah, and, and smaller. And, and owls know. have got bigger and bigger. <laughs> I can't play. Everyone's talking about eyes all the time. Oh, William! Are you going to talk to William, hmm? Come on, <laughs> go on, Brody. William! <laughs> William, wait for us. She'll soon talk him round. She has the knack. You look pale. My stomach rejects food. I'm not strong anymore. I'll never achieve anything in science now. What rot! You're coming back to London with me. Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not letting you stagnate down here while your rivals make all the progress. You must visit your publisher. You don't understand, Raz. Even when I talk about my theory with you, I feel like I'm confessing a murder. No, I can't publish. Well, you're coming back to London with me, Charlie, whether you like it or not. If only to remind the opposition you're still alive and kicking. Take care, and make sure you get plenty of rest. Erasmus, he's not to spend all night at the club with you. No, Mother. I mean it, or he'll be utterly done for the next day. Yes, Mother. Don't worry. It'll do him good. Come on. Your sloth awaits you, sir. What a magnificent piece. <laughs> hey, Raz? My word. Owen's done a remarkable job. He really is a splendid specimen. Yes, I thought you'd be pleased. Come through. See what I've been working on. The chimpanzee, being the highest organized four-handed ape, every difference between its anatomy and a human's is instructive. I've been studying. For example, the irrational ape has dog-like canines, used as weapons of destruction, quite unlike the masters of the animal kingdom. Yes, though... Have and the seen... human foot is of decisive taxonomic value. Our feet are made for walking upon, our hands for grasping. This brute has its hands and feet made to answer nearly the same purpose. Well, there's a striking similarity between I'm writing a book on the subject. Uh, my brother is working on a new book, too. Come here. Let me show you what I mean. All the same pattern. The bone structure in the hands and feet are all nearly identical. The blueprint, if you will, that existed first in the creator's mind. Of that, there can be no doubt. Utter tosh! The similarity of structure indicates one thing and one thing only. An ancient common ancestor. Real flesh and blood parents. Why didn't you say so then? Hmm? You must publish your ideas, if only to establish your priority. What's holding you back? What is it? 
I've completed a sketch of my species theory. I believe it's a considerable step in science. If anything should happen to me... What do you mean? If I should die... Die? Charles, for goodness sake. Please, my love, it's important. If anything should happen to me, I'd like you to see to it that it gets published. Four hundred pounds should be enough to see it printed and promoted. Nothing's going to happen to you. You say here that the human eye may possibly have been acquired by gradual selection of slight, but in each case useful, deviations. Yes. That's a very great assumption, Charles. Well, if I'm wrong about that, I'm wrong about everything. My entire theory's in ruins. Can your theory account for the way my eyes and ears and hands and heart combine to reproduce the sounds that Chopin heard in his head? Isn't that a God-given gift? Well, it's given. But not, I think, by God. You're a man of science. You don't want to believe anything until it's proved. But some things are beyond proof. It would be a nightmare to me if I thought we didn't belong to each other forever in heaven. <laughs>